we have just travelled about three and a half hours in the car to come and visit Stuart from pre pro 307 pre pre three no it's pre pre three oh seven. I think that's a medical condition. Right. <laughs> oh, if you get pre three oh seven. Sorry, doc. So, I've got a swift case of pre three oh seven. Take antibiotics for it, and then you'll be fine. <laughs> So we've come with Big Dave, Young Paul, me, Old Paul, sadly, and Stuart is, what are you doing? I'm trying to jack it up actually and I'm struggling a little bit. Uh, the car's low. It's a drift car low. But that's what you want though, you want low. Oh yeah. In that case, there's a gap in the market for jack manufacturers to make ultra, ultra low. Drift jacks. Well, because these ones are already, these are already pretty, low. Already pretty low. And they're not this, is a, this is the movement I've yeah. got. <laughs> That's as much jacking as you can, can do. That's See, not enough. If I was more prepared, I could have had like a set of ramps, you know, it could have been up on ramps, but I'm not prepared. There's no way that would go on ramps, surely not. That thing, I would imagine that would barely go on a dyno. It, you'd be surprised. The clearance is, uh, I imagine it's an issue. But for those of you who haven't- Is working yet? I don't know. <laughs> do you want us to pick it up? <laughs> And you've got one of these, like, you know, D, D1 spec, uh, you know, bash bars on the front there. So, oh, so, so that's, so you need- Is that what that is? You need that, spec. Oh, it's absolutely D1 spec. You need that, but it does it's come with issues. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's- Is it even moving? <laughs> this is embarrassing, I don't usually have this problem. It is, Performance it is issues. It is right. it's, a, it's, it's a way, it's a- It's, it's going, out. it's way like a train. I feel, I feel like at this point it needs like a train. A, a <laughs> <laughs> it needs a An old steam train. There it goes. Uh, That's why I never win it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you want to do this as a time lapse? It's just like Formula <laughs> One. Uh, Stuart? Yeah? Where are your axle stands? Uh, don't film this. Is is that your giant collection of axle stands over there? It's <laughs> shocking, isn't it? It's terrible. I'm a horrible human being. <laughs> so this is where you could just say, oh, right well, look, there are there are plenty of axle stands under the car. We just can't film them because <laughs> it's it's just it's dark under there. So there's, there, there are Bluetooth, Bluetooth. <laughs> oh, Bluetooth, there's right? They're like those literally within arm's reach. <laughs> it's like those little. Um, Shut up. <laughs> that's it. Good. That that's it. That's, that's it. That's a shot we'll use. <laughs> Jack your car up you and put it on axle stands. <laughs> you'll shame me and that's what you'll do. Here we are. There's a car spider. Safety first. Oh. You're getting, right getting proper like long strokes now. That's what you like. So that's perfect. <laughs> right Dave, what are you doing in there? I was spinning the wheel, make sure it was off the... Oh, make sure it was off the ground? Yes. I'm going to let Dave do the honours because I feel a rare occasion I'm not actually doing the work. Oh, right. So what's, what's to... Okay, so while he does that... What is he doing, Stuart? So, I've ended up this situation where my springs are a little bit tired and a little bit rotten. And end up looking like Wait, that. Wait, what, what do you mean rotten? Like literally rotten. <laughs> I believe that's oxidisation. Oxidisation would be the technical term for it, yeah. <laughs> so, I've went and splashed out like you do on a, a nice set of springs. You managed to do. There's always one. There's always <laughs> one. <laughs> you want a hand there, Dave? You managed it. I need more power. You it's on max. How's the bat is there a battery on it? There is a battery on it. I've heard it making noise. Oh, it's is it down to two bars? It's down to two bars. You maybe need a bar. You need a big breaker breaker. Breaker breaker. Big breaker bar. Oh, so the, see the man's got he's got he's got a cabinet. It's fine. Yeah, so everything's plonked on top of the cabinet. Yeah, yeah. That's that's how that's how they roll really. Is your, do you have a ten mil? I don't know. A no, ten, ten mil. mil is missing. <laughs> ten mil is always missing. I think it's round the front. I'm pretty sure it's there. Does it get, well, the ten, ten, the ten mil in his socket set is is obviously missing. They always are. There's one sitting on top of your battery. Is that a ten? What? Oh, is that it? What's it doing on top of the battery? Yeah, it is. It's in there. What? I got my oh, spanner. My spanner sense. Oh, uh, that's a brake he's after. Right, who's going to stand on the brake? Send Paul in to. You, you, <laughs> your job's to stand on the brake. I can do that. 
<laughs> but anyway, I just just like to point out that Stuart doesn't let other people in his car. This this is this is the closest anyone has gotten to borrowing Stuart's car. And I'm fucking super skinny. Right, what is what is your job in here, Paul? Put on the brake. How are on the brake? We're good. We're good. I, but I love that um, of some of your switches. I just noticed that beam is spelt incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Beam. a 307 thing, it's to confuse people. How's, how's it smell in there? It smells... Unbelievable. It's, it's, it's very... Uh, it's like a mixture of high the, fuel. There's a lot of fuel it's in so there. Professional. The Does it smell like legit race car? Better than sex. <laughs> okay. You, want, you can remove the steering wheel if it's... If you need more room for sex. The steering wheel comes off. It's just enough. <laughs> <laughs> He's made it. He's made it. Uh, right, Dave, what's happening over there? What, uh, oh, they're really big brakes. <laughs> but you need those. She said. You need those. Oh, they're nice. Wow. They're real nice. Ooh. Ah, oh, the case ports. Ooh, eight pots as well. Jesus, big, 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 big. a lot of meat in them pads. Big, big Woof. They might be the thickest brake pads I've ever seen in my life. Did we bring the banana for scale? No. Is that your measurement of scale? Yeah, yeah, we have a we have a plastic banana that's used for scale. So this is the most useless drift car thing I've got in my car because you don't need big brakes brakes for drifting. Well, this is I, I, yeah, I tell that's a fair point. Yeah, that's. But I when I built the car, I wanted to do track days as well. Ah, I wanted okay. to be able to do track days, and <coughs> it is a thing now that drifters are needing bigger brakes because they're going faster. They've got more grip, so it's not a, a, a wasted thing. No, no, no. But, but yeah, it's the biggest brakes you can get that fit on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, yep, yeah, that's, that's, that's how you do it. The oh. biggest brakes. Yes. Oh, so I hear, I hear ladies like a big brake as well. So <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. So for, for brownie for points. for the ladies. <laughs> Case sport for the ladies. But you're not here to fiddle with the brakes, are you, Dave? No, no. So your mission... Or steal them. What is your job? Uh, I appear to be changing a coil spring on coilovers. Stuart, is that what he's supposed to be doing Yeah, that's there? exactly what he's going to do. But he's going to do the opposite side. He's going to do the opposite side. Because this is what I've done. These are the new Swift springs that we're fitting. They are the same rating as the old ones. They're just, they're a better quality they're, spring made in Japan. You, they're nice. Did you see the old one, Dave? Oh, there's the old one. Oh, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's probably still got some service <laughs> left. Yeah, it'd it's work. Got a very nice patina. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. Ah, Wait, shop you, blast you them and get, sell them on eBay, they'll be fine. Shop blast and it. And <laughs> <laughs> the, the beauty of these CS2 coilovers are if you're down at the track and you want to change spring rates, you can do it really quickly without taking the shock fully out and fully right, apart. Okay. If you were to take it all out, you'd lose your geometry and that. Right. So we're going to go around to the other side, we're going to take a wheel off the same as we've done here, and I'll show you how to nice. pull the spring apart. Well, the plasma cutter, that, that would be... <laughs> Standard approach for us would just be to grab the nearest plasma cutter and then just chop the spring off and then worry about it afterwards. Somehow, I don't think that is the correct approach for this vehicle. Oh. Oh. Is it, do they come in little oh, bags? Wait, wait, wait. Is that our... Dave, so, Dave, give that box a sniff. Wait, does that smell? Money. <laughs> yeah, all right. I was, just not, I was thinking it smelled like Japan, but... Japan. <laughs> it also smells and like it, money. I was a bit worried I'd give you the wrong information about that, but you know it's Japanese because the instructions are oh, in yeah, Japanese. Those are legitimately unreadable. So well, can you me. read them to us now? <laughs> Jack up the car please and please make sure car is in the stationary, handbrakes on. Handbrake on? Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Remove wheels, eye protection, your protection. The usual stuff, safety Just the stuff. Usual stuff yeah. Yeah. Do you have to wear a hard hat for this particular mono? No, because it won't work in under the car, we'll be alright. That's right. impressive. The, I really am impressed. It's, too, yeah. it's all the Subarus you see. It's, uh, you, <laughs> just, uh, you, just you learn. To, you, you learn. You get to pick up the occasional bit of Japanese. What are all these random bolts to line up? Oh, yeah, I've noticed a lot of these, are these <laughs> spare, parts. Spare parts. Spare parts. <laughs> Those, those are part of the filing. <laughs> wait, wait, did you just put them in the top of the cabinet with all your other Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Go into the pile. <laughs> Oh, will it make the last one? Da, 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 da. Yay! Oh, nice. Oh, it's beautiful. It's made it absolutely beautiful. The Japanese really came from America. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean they were cheaper? Yeah. That's the only place I could oh, get them. I showed you the map. Japan's very near. Um, so, Phil is in here. Why have you brought a second gen? 
So a second jack because you don't want to drop the suspension on the floor and make a hole in the garage floor like I did the, when I did the opposite side. So I'm not running roll bars on the front, so there's nothing really to hold the oh, yes. wheel assembly yes. up. There's, 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 well, there, there's, there's, there's literally not. Wait, well, there is nothing, nothing there. I, I have heard rumours about you crazy drift folks running no roll bars. But before we even get in, there's going to be so many tangents today. Why are you running no roll bars? So if I was running a really fast circuit where I was maybe running in fourth gear and doing 100 mile per hour, you'd maybe need stiffer front suspension. But because drift land's so small and... It's like a sprint circuit. Yeah, it's almost. more like a sprint circuit. I get away with, without running a roll bar because the front end's a bit softer and it grips a bit more. Uh, I'm playing with it. I was running a roll bar. They're actually sitting around the side in the garage. So they're not completely deleted. They are... I'm just going to... I'm gonna see if I can put. Oh yeah, yeah. They're not. They're not deleted. They're just like redundant. The word I would use is discarded. They've been discarded for now. <laughs> okay, but yeah, there's oh, no roll bar in there at all. I'm gonna guess that not only does this stop you making a hole in the floor, but that's heavy as fuck to try and pick back up. Oh yeah. And yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just rattled this nut off and I went thump. Bang. What the hell was that? I'm glad I didn't hit my feet. That would have been yeah. fun. Oh. Ta -da. Thump! Is that mm -hmm. a bit more? Voila! There we go. Wow! That. that is so easy! It's minging! <laughs> so if you were if you were trackside at an event and you needed to do something urgent on that suspension. Ab uh, and nut. Wow. No problem. That's really important. Don't lose that. So say if someone like slightly less professional me accidentally puts it the opposite way around that's going to cause a problem for your suspension I'm not, See, saying, I'm not saying I did that <laughs> I'm not saying I Name did that shame. but I'm just saying not don't do it <laughs> It's half a tight it's a little, it's a little. suspension's really tight <laughs> One sided Then uh, just check chrome, check shaft Check, <laughs> sure. check, check yeah. the shaft Make sure it's sure. straight, like no funky twists it's off the one side damaged, left or right uh, There's not any rust on it I suppose and uh, we need to give it a clean, we need to give it a clean, then put a bit of copper slip on it. Wait, I saw, somewhere around here, I saw a breaking clutch cleaner. <laughs> Wait, I've got a... Actually copper slip up there as well. See the, these two forks, the two black forks. This is what spanners. I clean everything with. Oh, it's awesome. I don't know if, I don't know if, the, I mean it's an effective cleaning agent, it's good, like... Breaking clutch. Mm. The copper slip. I've got a paintbrush in it, that's this point. I'm going to lose my fingers. Oh, oh, what a savage. I, I, what a savage. savage. <laughs> We're going to have to get him a paintbrush <laughs> for, his, <laughs> for his copper slip jar. Yeah. Right, what what he's getting like fancy merch and that. I'm going to do like really ridiculous marks like all the paintbrushes and throw through your seven. <laughs> throw through your seven <laughs> copper slip brush. <laughs> yes. We could just like, we, we, could, we could help you. We could 3D print ridiculous merch <laughs> and, set, and send it up to you. We throw seven on it. There's not anything in there. Wooden anti-wall <laughs> bars. Practically empty. Well, that was oh just, no, no, we're, we're good. We're that was good. just the one that I found. I mean, there might be more in the garage. I I've never been here before, so... Hold your breath. Get the old spit shine. <laughs> Is that you, both? The, uh, I don't know, the Zylon coating and the Driftworks coilovers is not the best. I mean, this is not a car that sits outside, and as you can see, it's... There doesn't be a lot of coating left. Yeah. I, will, I think wire brush is in need for this, I think. Now, you're probably thinking, that was pretty smooth, sure. You just pulled a wire you, brush out of your exactly, toolbox. He, he exactly but it was lying about here, and I put it in my <laughs> box before you guys <laughs> came. So that's the only reason I know it's there. So the secret is that Stuart knew that we were coming, and in the hour and a half before we arrived, he's basically been running around tidying things up, putting them in boxes, you know, restocking his, his uh, brake and clutch supply. He even swept, thought he could get away with it, but we caught him in the act. <laughs> You, uh, it's actually the trash that inside his car he's taking out. It's all about that drift life. <laughs> yeah, th th this is my new drift car. <laughs> it's got it? working oh, lid. Wow. <laughs> wow, what's the rear drift on this bad boy? It it's running a really low 411 on this one. Oh. It's got Good a joint, well. joint fixed back axle. Yeah, a little bit yeah. of camber. A little bit of camber. And on I the see the lug on the back there. You've got. Uh, 
got a bit of ventilation on the Aero, back there yeah. as well. Aero, act, active Aero, Aero on the left hand side of the bin. I know it's one thing he hasn't cleaned uh, though, he is hasn't. his air filter in like a hundred years. Look, right. it's filthy. We've got new spring. Do they have a top and a bottom? They don't. Oh. They don't. These are just... Uh, they are not sided. These are motorsport springs. They come in various sizes and uh, these are in kilograms per... Is it, what's it, kilograms per... Uh, all, all I know is that there are springs which are in kilograms and 20 is a large number. <laughs> You're referring to Ewan Stark? I am indeed, yes. <laughs> We're going to see him tomorrow. <laughs> I, am, I am aware of his spring <laughs> rates. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I know that 20, 20 is a lot. <laughs> 20 is plenty. <laughs> So, so these are nine. <laughs> He's oh, running quick. These are nine. <laughs> wow. There's clearly something wrong with him. We're going to ask him about that tomorrow. It, it drives really good, his car. It drifts really well, which shows you there's more than one way to, you know, skin a cat, yeah. really, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, uh, Is it really, really, really heavy? Is <laughs> it? I think it just has, like... It doesn't move. That's it, a very it doesn't, old body roll. Right, okay. It doesn't bounce. It just thuds through everything. Whereas if you watch mine, mine's very... You know, it, it ducks and dives. It's got movement. It. It's got movement in it. And I don't, the, the reason I bought these is I don't really know what rate these are because these are meant to be nine as well, but, you know, they've been in the car for a while and yeah. they're kind of, I don't know if they're nine still. So these are better. These are bigger. So we've to adjust the perch to, oh, so to make up for that. A tiny bit bigger. So I think when I last measured it, they were like, 8 mil. Science is happening, a measuring device has arrived. We'll just go and get our little to tell you scale gauge thing and drop no, it. Oh, yeah. No, we'll it's it's a bit, this is extreme water sport measuring oh, here. Yeah. It's about, it's about 8 mil. It is a grassroots 8 mil. <laughs> grassroots, I'm all about the grassroots here. That's it. Three or seven. Wait, what's that in inches? <laughs> oh, for Americans, because, yeah, there's, they're in Americans. Of course. Yeah. Uh, uh, Less than four just about seconds. Oh. <laughs> I know my four, imperial, but four thirty not. seconds that's close enough. Five, oh, I want to say like six or seven thirty seconds. What? Seven thirty seconds, okay. If you're an American, seven <laughs> thirty seconds. Science, <laughs> yeah. Do not put your fingers in between those two seats, man. Oh, that, that happened a lot yeah, easier than I thought it was going to do. Well, that's a good news. So, how I usually do this is I'll adjust the bottom one down eight mil. It's just so technical. Um, <laughs> no, you need to adjust it by 7.30 seconds, I think we agreed on. Now, you may be saying you could be using more accurate measuring equipment for doing this, but we've still to set the ride height after we put the springs in, and that's for another day. As long as it looks low enough for you guys filming, we'll be happy with that. Oh, yeah, that's that. perfect. Yeah. And this is a proper B&Q. Oh, yeah. scale issue. This isn't like one of those like AliExpress jobs. No, like, he's, a, he's spent at least mean. four British pounds on that. Oh, it's got tables oh, wait, wait. on the back as well. Wait, hold on, Where's 8 mil. 8.7 mil is 11. What, what we're doing is basically like decking around in the background, and what we we're supposed to do is help Stuart. Stuart's now on his own. <laughs> I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to leave it to Dave next. I'm not doing any more. I'm, I'm cleaning duties, but what I will do is I'll use my finger so you don't have to. Oh, no! <laughs> That's disgusting! Ooh, is that not like a beautiful thing? <laughs> Demonetize is all your Ooh, subscribers. Do 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 do. Everyone's just going to disappear. You can't make them any money on that. People, that's that's a health and safety risk. Look, there's poisons and stuff in that. Carcinogenic. Carcinogenic. Yeah. Carcinogenic. What would Jesus do? Uh, who's he? What <laughs> would Jeek do? <laughs> what would Jeek do? Jeek would use his finger as well. No, Jeek would have a man do it for him. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, Jeek isn't copper slipping anything himself. He has a man do that for him. Dave, you look like you're hunting for a contact lens now. What, like, what, <laughs> what have you, at, what have you lost? I'm just not looking at the welds. You're looking at the welds. Yeah. Oh, I don't look at my welds. No, I think they, because they, they look like mine, which makes me quite happy. Of, uh, of, uh, honest. A lot of bondo over the top, of it so you can't see. They're them. just, they're just honest welds. Just honest just, welds. Close up of me finger and a. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Like the love and attention that you're putting into this car. Oh. Are you sure you got that the right way up? I've got the, it says the name's the right way up, so I'm going with that. Correct. That's how as I would As long as your legs are up the right way. Oh, I just about oh, forgot the boot. Oh, 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 I just about forgot the boot. Need that. And they've got little jackets as well, these ones, haven't they? Because I think that's an MOT failure, if it's not... What, if you've got no boot inside, you, got you, you fail the MOT. Yeah, I, Dave, somehow I don't think Stuart's concerned about his MOT. No. 
So how I kind of know I've got it right is that the spring shouldn't be There's tight. There's no, not too much slop. It's, it's not tight and it's not also ridiculously loose. Right, I'll hold you the shaft. You navigate. You jack up. I'll pump. You pump, I'll hold the shaft. <laughs> okay, can we? I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving. Is it, is is it in yet? <laughs> <laughs> how many torques? Three or four oogadoogas, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Dave's got to Hello? I, I brought ear plugs with us, can we use them? Could put them on? There are ear defenders on the top of the tool chest. I mean, of course they're on the top of the tool chest. Because I picked them off off the floor early, early yeah, on. Yeah, because they were on the floor here. next to... Oh look, goggles and I, I'm full PP. Oh yeah, where's your hard hat? <laughs> we've got him, we've got him! We've got get, get the health and safety executive there. in here right now. The funny thing is, I should have gloves on, but I don't. But then, then your gloves would get the, covered. The oh yes. Because I'm, I'm happy with that. The tube sock. The loose in the perch. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna level with you, Stuart. I have never heard of fuel suspension. So it's an American company. Uh, who's the driver that drives know. for? I'm, I'm sure your, your viewers will add in who drives with the fuel suspension. Oh yeah, in the comments down below. A lot um, of Formula D drivers use fuel suspension. Uh, is it Matt Fields or is it Odi Bocci that? Bot bocce, bocce, bot bocce. You could bo be making that you up. Could and, 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 <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. I feel like I'll get hate from a spell and things and not pronouncing people's names properly at some point. Well, that's okay. One minute, 37 seconds later. So why haven't you fitted a straight pipe to this? Because if I had this car, I'm obviously a total chav and I would straight pipe it everything. I like to straight pipe everything. So what's, what's the story? Like you've still got silencers. Well, what I can't understand is like some buddy Craig who drives a similar drift car. He's got a straight pipe. I think I saw him at a car show at some point. Um, he, he likes a car show. He does like a car show. Yeah. He's he's, he's got known, a, he's, he's, got he's been known to go to a car show because he's, he's got plenty of cars for that. Mm. Don't do a lot of drifting, but a car show is really right. good at yeah. But straight pipe. Uh, I don't know why he's got a straight pipe and it seems to, you know, it seems to be quite quiet. Then mine, it's got a midsection. Silencer. Okay, so it's got the center, the center one in. And it still seems Same quite... engine though, more or less. No, 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 he's running 25. Toyota. Oh, I thought he was... Uh, he's he GZ, a... he's I... on that side of the fence. I thought you had the 25. <laughs> I know obviously you have the 26, but like, I thought it was the 25. You can tell it's the 26 because... Oh yeah, has... that point one makes a if big you, difference. If you, if you stand a little further back... <laughs> you can tell the difference between the RB25 and the RB26 with one significant point. It says 26 on the front. So that's that's how I tell the difference. But any plans to straight pipe it? <laughs> I'd like to do a, a section. <laughs> I need to get off this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to do a section just to see, put it in, see if it's what it sounds like. But I, G could probably throw them out, and nobody wants that. I'm sure he would decibel test test it. <laughs> yeah, I think throw them out. Got the, the, the appropriate measurement tools up at Driftland. This is a hundred and one decibels at idle. <laughs> <laughs> At uh, 4,000, I think, with the silencer in. That's fine, you'd be looking more on games at that. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Mine is 118, and we were allowed at games, and they tested it. Uh -huh. That's loud. That's loud. It's very loud. Is that it? Is that as much? That job now with the spring, that's now done? The You should really set it down its four wheels and check the alignment and check the ride height, measure the actual car's ride height to make sure it's sitting. I've got Corner weight scales, so I'll probably scale the car before Ooh. it goes out. Ooh. <laughs> Fancy! What coilovers did you say those were? Those are Driftworks CS2 coilovers made by HSD. And the bit that I'm marvelled at is how quick it was to do that that changeover. Like I, I know some of it is because there aren't you know anti roll bars to fiddle around with, but if you wanted to swap springs between events, you could do that really easy. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you have two jacks. And an ugga dugga machine. And the back's not so easy to do, I'll admit. The back's not so easy say, to do. The back's, that's, that's different. It's not even easy to adjust the dampen. If you have a look in the back window, you'll see the dampen's right at the back. Even for a simple thing of you can't get your rattle gun in there. Wait. Oh, you could hole saw. <laughs> this is a bit of a cool. Oh, just a hot next hole there. Just a, an access hole simply for. Well, just get another one of these knacker ducts, right? And then just. Knacker duct on there. I don't know. Roughed as a fork. Just. Yeah. Glory hole. Okay. <laughs> oh, good oh, grief. Good grief. Oh. 
Beautiful. Ta -da! Done. Beautiful. What's that? Boop. Oh. <laughs> you expect them to make a little tune? Yeah, ding, ding. Like, yeah. We'll see if it fires up. Will we see if it fires up? It's a bit ropey getting started when it's cold and it hasn't been started. It's a bit temperamental. Right, you get it right if you don't have <laughs> conks out in parts.